Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine. In this video, I'm going to show an advanced pattern of working with an example of storing string data within passages. So let's look at what we have in this example. We have multiple passages that have just lists of things. Here are items, and here are adjectives, which can seem odd, but we've seen in a previous video how Passages are represented as data maps within Harlow. They have name, source, and tags. By using the names, we get access to those values. And we've also seen how the passage macro can give it access to an individual passages data map. And the passages, plural, macro can give us multiple passages, an array of them, based on some type of search criteria. We've also seen that passages can contain string data and string is another type of data structure within Harlow. We can break up those strings, we can split those strings based on new lines that we saw in a previous video. We can then use the resulting array by getting a random entry within it. What if then we combined a lot of this stuff together? So what if we got a random entry from the string data of a particular passage and a random entry from the string data of another passage and combine them together? Or put another way, what if we got a random adjective and a random item and stuck them together to build a list for a shop? So let's kind of talk our way through this. So I'm going to start over here with adjective, and this works very similar to what we've seen in previous videos now examining advanced patterns. And this says, go get the source. Again, source is one of the name values of the data maps of individual passages. So for the passive adjectives, go get its source, treat it as string data. Then split that data based on new lines, because again, it's just a listing with each new line. So now I have an array. Give me a random number of total entries within that. And then give me an adjective. And you'll notice that item looks very, very similar. It just looks for item instead of adjective. Exact same idea. Go get the source, split the source, give me a random entry from that resulting array. Finally, over here, generate shop does something a little bit interesting. So at first it sets up an initial array called shop listing, and then it does for each temporary variable i, and then in range one to 10, or in other words, run 10 times. For each of these, generate item, generate adjective, combine them together right here using the ability of strings and concatenation, or what we call addition for strings. We stick them together, we glue them together, concatenation. And then it says if shopping list does not contain us, we go ahead and add it, and just this prevents us from accidentally generating duplicates. And then we have an entire array right here of a shop listing, or shop listing. And then over here, this says generate shop, and this runs for each I shop listing. So for each thing in it, create a bulleted item right here using print. Print is our friend if we want to create some more complex things, especially that if we're also doing um, white space right here. And so if we build and play, we have burning hammer, all powerful hat, radiant cloak, darkness glasses, and a whole bunch of other things. But notice no repeating, sometimes repeating adjectives, but no repeating combinations. So if we run it again, we'll get a completely new set of items. Radiant cloak, cryptic hat, glowing shield. And if we run it again, we'll get a new set. Each time regenerated. But within this example, we're using the ability of us to access the source of a particular passage using the passage macro. And then using our knowledge of how strings work as another data structure within Harlow, breaking those up into parts and giving us random names. So from a list of random adjectives and a list of random items, we can combine those together to generate a shop listing of 10 of these, non-repeating, and then right here, go through each of them and show it to a reader or player. So by working with string data within passages, we can do lots of really interesting things. We can take a list of things, items and adjectives, create an array, get a random entry from that array, and then, as I showed, create a shop listing or do other things. This pattern could potentially be applied to much more complex data. We could create entire histories of fantasy worlds or sci-fi worlds using the exact same approach. By getting random things from a list, 
random things from this list, putting them together, and then showing them to a reader or player. So an example of showing how, if we understand how multiple data structures work within Harlow, and particularly how multiple passages can work together, we can create some really advanced things fairly quickly with this knowledge. So generate shop, generate item, and generate adjective, not very complicated, but based on our knowledge of how multiple data structures work, all of which within Harlow 3.3. Thanks for watching.